feeling that little ghost girl was trying to warn us. Don't go. Don't ride your little car. Uh-oh. Her hair is perfect. She's a mom. It's weird that they look so similar. Sweetie? It's like she's a giant lady version of him. I guess that's how that works. <laughs> it's anime genetics. Where's their daddy? <laughs> His dad. Not her. He could be her daddy too, I guess. Oliver! <laughs> Such an innocent game, we keep talking about sexual stuff. He's not home. He's getting into trouble. Um, you're kind of busy. <laughs> he blew it. <laughs> well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So. You'll be in bed kind of early. Is he a ventriloquist? Oliver. Dun dun dun. Oliver. <laughs> Put your hands through there. It's cold. This is 50s town. You gotta wear it over. Where's her like poodle skirt and stuff then? She's not that young. <gasps> There's so many nice animated cutscenes. This is sweet. <laughs> Crank it up. Soldier boy. He, did, he was gonna let him ride it first. Would you listen to her, Kurt? Ready? So wholesome. Okay? Yeah. Is he gonna hit yeah. his right. mom with a car? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of uh, Ponyo. His like hair and appearance a little bit. I keep getting really distracted by how short his pants are. Even though they're rolled up. I yeah, guess. he's got a little but bit it, high water. It's upsetting me like, more than it should. Feels a jerk, but you know, his pants are a little nicer. Do it, Oliver. Oh, oh Jesus. No! Come on. Should have listened to that weird girl. Great engineering there. Uh oh. Aww. Oh. He's okay. Ollie. Oh, he can't swim. <laughs> Oliver? Oliver? There's a pretty high ledge there, too. Can he twist his ankle on the hill? I don't think he can swim. <laughs> no, Phil. Oh, Phil. Yeah, Phil's just a Pussy. <laughs> it's okay. Oliver, Oliver, wake up. Uh, uh, Mom? Oh, sweetie, I'm so glad you're okay. Yay. I'm, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I swear, if I'd known, I never would have. Don't be silly, Phil. What about your car? That hunk of junk, I can make another one in no time. <laughs> well, I think you two have had quite <laughs> enough you're trying to Oh, you again. boys will be boys. Yeah. Are you okay, Phil? I just twisted my ankle back there. Whatever will you children get up to next? <laughs> oh, she had a heart attack? Uh, Allie? Are you okay? Mom? Allie and Allie. Mom? She always did have a weak heart. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Really? Good. Mom. It looked like a <laughs> such a touchy moment. Don't laugh. Yeah, I guess he killed his mother, basically. Oh, Oliver, sweetie. Oh, she's. Oh, sweetie. Mom. You'll be okay. I know you will. Be good now. For me. Um, got to say goodbye at least, or sort of. Mom. Mom. No. no, don't leave me. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Moom. <laughs> They just left him in there to like shake yeah, her in vain. What? Sentimental fool. Mm. Sacrificing herself to save her 
her child. And yet, thanks to her, the boy lives. Oh, of course. The boy who lived. But shorn of his mother's love, to whom can he now turn for guidance? And soon he will come to our world, where our powers are strongest. Did they wreck the car? I think so. I think I th the demon cockatoo uses demon eyes. Yeah. Wow. Space cloak. She's got the whole world in her cloak. <laughs> Jeez. Can't believe how much stuff she's got in there. The planets, the stars, everything. Oliver, honey. You're not a moose. I'll just leave it here for you, okay, dear? Hmm. Apple pie. Raises accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> I read that in the guidebook. Oh. He needs a cast? For his twisted ankle, I guess. They had to make Phil not seem like a complete... Scaredy cat. I like that cat. You'll just have to I hope it doesn't turn out to be a demon. Timmy told so sad. He's been in there three whole days now. Jars of poop and pee everywhere. <laughs> Timmy told him is a really good told it's a really good cat name. Oliver, mommy starts her new job today. And she's asked someone very special to take care of him. <laughs> mommy spent a long time making him. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. He's got dingle dangle feet. Mommy. Is he just being left alone? Like without a babysitter? Just come back soon. It was a simpler time. Of course, sweetie. We'll always be together. When stuffed animals were always guardians. Always. Not Ash. Oh, it's ah. Button eyes. Jesus. Woo. <laughs> My eyes. <gasps> okay. You dropped me on my ass. Huh? What just happened? You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lay off of Drippy's mom died. <laughs> He's stealing his pie. <laughs> Gotta eat your pie hole. <laughs> Drippy's an asshole so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Trippy, could I have some pie? On with the show! Oh, um, okay. See, it's like this, see? What it is, is there's more worlds out there than this one by you. There's what you might call parallel worlds, see? They're like worlds along by the side of you or one. And one of those worlds is my world. That's right, a whole nother world. Another hmm. world? Let's I mean, no Cooney. That is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies. The reason I'm by you in this world of you is, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shada, the dark gem, his name is. <laughs> Shada! What he did was he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll. <laughs> he took me out of our world <laughs> and into you, the rock. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm waiting for Drippy to swear. Tried all over me and poof, the curse was lifted just like that. Which makes me think you must be the one we fairies call the pure-hearted one, the one the legends say will save our world. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, huh? So, anyway, <laughs> that means I'd better get you over to our world and have you get rid of Shadar for us. All right with you? Me? How can I? Don't fret, man. It's a big responsibility, I know, but you'll be all right, especially with me to help you. But I... Got some muscles. Oh, want me to ask properly, do you, fair dues? 
What? Oh, pure hearted one, will you please come and save our world? <laughs> Big old fucking crybaby. <laughs> come save us. <laughs> <laughs> what? The hero <coughs> turned it down. What did you say? Go on once more, but louder. I won't do it. I I mean I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. I ask nicely and you give me a hearty yes, sir. That's how this works, see? Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's just how these things are done. It's tradition. How am I supposed to work with this? It's like he's never read a story in his life. <laughs> I don't know anything about your world. And I just can't right now. I've got things going on in my life. <laughs> what? Because your mom dropped dead? <laughs> Who? Yeah. Damn, Trippy, you cold. Huh? Uh. Uh. Give me a photo on a jacket tour. <laughs> Mr. Drippy was also my nickname in the locker room. Let's see now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. Ellie? might just be able to save you, man. Huh? What are you talking about? You ready for another year full? Yeah. The souls of people in your world and my <laughs> world are connected. Which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there. Called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, you a man, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia. A proper talent she was. Oh. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the dark djinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the soul snare. When that happened, then the link between hers and you a man's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link. And who knows? It might even bring your man back. Is that really true? I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. <laughs> so they can be, like, alive in one world and not in the other? Wait. Weird. How do you know all this, Mr. Drippy? You've been a doll this whole time. I'm the Lord I Lord of the Fatties. <laughs> That's it. clever of you. Good question, that. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all but the things buddies? over there. Now, <laughs> abreast? Of it's what you might call telepathy. And that's not all. I was sending my lordly orders back over there, too. Having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? <laughs> tidy? What is it? I'll... I'll do it. I'll come to your world. I'll come with you and save my mom. Oh, that's marvellous! You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, but if it saves our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Tidy! We better get going there. Chop, chop! Okay. But how do we get to your world? Oh, curious, are we? All right, I'll tell you. First thing we need is a drop of magic. Go and have a dig around in the fireplace. There's something hidden there. It's not like he's a dick around. Go dick around. That's for me to know and you to find out. Look lively. I'm still kind of grieving. The spell in the fireplace. All right, hey Drippy. Drippy, Lord I, Lord of the Fairies, is back, man. <laughs> back and better than ever. I gotta do a horrible Scottish accent. Drippy's got some pathfinding, so I can like. <laughs> All right, let's go. We got this whole house to ourselves, I guess now. Run to the fireplace. Hurry. What is he hidden? What could be hidden in a place like this? A mighty spell book! Probably fucking logs. Sure. But it will burn in there. Not this book. The wizard's companion laughs in the face of fire. Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't know That's it. the book we have. Aha, gotcha! So we have a physical version of this book. Thanks to the wizard's edition. It's really cool. <coughs> this is a spell book? That there is the wizard's companion. The fount of all wizarding knowledge. The wizard's companion. We're gonna be a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Obtain the wizard's companion. Listen up, I'm gonna teach you what's what in the wizard's companion of yours. If you want to have a read of it, press triangle to open the main menu. You should see it down at the bottom right of there, then you'll need to <laughs> choose it with X. You can leaf through the wizard's companion to your heart's content. Take a minute or two to skim the pages. Lordy da. You look like a smart lad. <laughs> I'll skip some of this because this is just learning how to play here. I'm gonna get handsome. I gotta make a pledge. 
need to vow that I'll do all the I can do to be worthy of being a wizard. Don't look so flippin' worried, it's not hard. All you have to do is write your name in the book with an open, honest heart. And you don't even have to write Oliver if you don't want. You can write Bunting, Crybaby, <laughs> whatever you like. The most <laughs> important thing is that you mean it. Go on, scribble your name down there. Um, He's a bit of a jerk. <laughs> I'll do what I do in Zelda where I still... Like in Zelda, I name my character Link, even though a lot of people use their own name. So I'll just keep it as Oliver. I don't think we can do lowercase, can we? Okay. Looks good to me. And here we... Oh, oh that wasn't good. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I'm happy with the name Oliver. Da -da -da -da. I'm taking the wizard's pledge. Tidy. Right. Magic is our way over to my world, is it? Mm, now let's see. It's always jumping Where's around. It? We've got a wand somewhere by here. We can't go casting spells without a wand now, can we? A wand? Gotta go to all the vent. Oh, that's a pig. Vendors are right. Uh, we just have to look for one outside. Huh? We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby Bunting. Bunting? <laughs> My name is Oliver. Oliver. Ah, so the crybaby bit was right at least, was it? <sighs> I'll do anything for <laughs> mum. <laughs>